the serenity. <laughs> Now I'm hoping I took that out so we can overlap it a little bit. Put a couple of tack screws in it to hold it together. Yep. Building time? We are building. Be a lot easier for old mate that had to pull that sword out. Yeah. <laughs> you know Thanks, Charles. I'm going to be the king of Australia. Pulling the star post down. Again. The god of star post. Yeah. Worthy. Excalibur. Excalibur. Okay, we got it pegged in, clamped up, and um, we've been checking it from different angles, and I think it's about as good as it's going to get. What do you reckon? Yeah. Well, as we keep saying, we've got to sort of project it. <clears throat> About 1,200 is going to come off the top of that. Yep. And basically, the theory is that this, the centre line of the top runs down the pole to the centre line of the of the hole that we drilled to put it in. And the line that goes through those points should be vertical. And uh, I think we're looking pretty good. And the pole itself can bow around a bit in between, but that's about as good as you can do it. I think so. And I think you've got to be realistic about the tolerances too, and the tolerances yep. of this sort of building are probably plus or minus two inches. Yeah. Right, yeah, next step, put a bit of rapid set in the bottom, and then we'll build the concrete plinth on top of that. Yep.
we are back again. We've had a lot of rain the last couple of days. Um, we spent yesterday putting the second big post in. And um, we just sort of stomped around in the mud all day, getting it in. It was a bit hairy, so we didn't really film it. And now we're just about to trim off the steel formwork and tidy it up a bit. Paint it, make it look good. And do the second one as well, hopefully today. What do you reckon? G'day viewers. G'day, g'day. Well, it's always going to go quicker if you put the camera down and give us a hand. Huh? That's right. I don't do anything around here. Just here to film, document. Yeah, the plan is uh, knock the top of the drum off this one. Back down to the level of the concrete. Yep. Then we've got to project a level of that uh, plinth across to the second upright. Going to use a water level? Yeah, we'll use a water level that. And the reason is that that plinth actually makes a bench for the uh, centre floor bearers to sit on. Yeah, so the, the posts look really tall at the moment. But that's because the floor is going to be raised up a few feet off the ground. And they'll be trimmed as well when the roof goes on. But they should be nice and heavy duty. Right, yeah, we better get into it. We should. We've got our water level out. We're going to try and project the height of the concrete plinth on this post over to the one we're about to make on the other post. So we need to get an accurate reading because the floor bearers of the cabin are going to be resting on these plinths and they need to be pretty equal to our standard anyway. Quarter of an inch and two miles, isn't it, Tom? Yeah. That's just close enough for us. Uh, just a word of warning folks, um, don't go cutting into um, intact 44-gallon um, uh, drums with angle grinders because angle grinders make sparks and you don't know what's been in the drum so that's potentially an explosive situation. Um, obviously this drum has been rusted out and has been out in the weather for years so it was quite safe. But the other thing is... Um, uh, the best method I could recommend is you actually knock the top out with a hammer and cold chisel which isn't as hard as you might think just tap yep. it around the edge that way you've got a nice open drum and we've had the situation here where you, you'll find a drum that's got a bit of oil in it or whatever you can actually drop a burning rag into it or something to burn all that oil out in a safe manner yep. and, and then they're quite safe to to grind or whatever build stuff out of but uh, yeah don't stick an angle grinder in the in the side of a 44 gallon drum that's got the top and everything still on it and sealed up. Yeah, potentially very dangerous. Thought I should mention that. Yep, it's a good idea. Of 
clamped up. Just gonna screw it together, make it level, and then start filling some concrete in. Should hold it, I reckon. Okay, so we've got our concrete pretty much done. Got it all loaded in the formwork. We can tell that it's up to level with the other one because we drilled these holes in the barrel so the excess water would run out. It's coming out now, so it should be good. It should level itself off a bit. So, yeah, that's. Let that dry and then we can cut the top off that, just like this one, it's looking pretty good. And then next up we're going to paint them grey just to seal the steel and stuff and make them look good. viewers we got one concrete clink pretty much finished it's looking nice and tidy now gonna add a little bit of gravel down the bottom just to fill in a little bit it's good enough to cover up with the floor and never to be seen again exactly we had to make we had to know that all was right though because we'd always know yes, even if you can't see it and the other one the concrete setting wait for that to set and then we can trim it up and grind it and paint it as well Anyway, I think that'll do it for this video. See you later, viewers. We'll see you all next time. See ya. See ya.